What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Silver Creek Falls Chapter 1. This is a mystery RPG adventure game uh, that is free on Steam and it's got a lot of really good reviews. And it's supposed to be about 45 minutes long, so if you want to check this out yourself, you can. It's Like I said, it's free on Steam, but let's check this game out. Already with the classic music. Captain Pendleton's office, Norfolk Police Station, Norfolk, Virginia. Captain Pendleton, Detective Sarah Fitzgerald reporting for duty. Ah, uh, you're the transfer the boss from Boston, right? Pleasure to meet you, Detective. This will be your new partner, Inspector Philip Moore. All right. How are you doing? Inspector Moore also comes as us as a transfer all the way from England. You were with Scotland Yard, am I correct? Yes, sir. Excellent. I think both of you will make an excellent team. With extensive experience in homicide and missing persons between you, I think this new case will be right up your alley. Cool. What's happening? I've, I've had a very strange request come in from a small town called Silver Creek Falls. They need some detectives to help solve a case that's baffling the local sheriff. Silver Creek Falls? I've never heard of it. Where is it? Well, not really too surprising. It's a small town in Hawthorne County, North Carolina. North Carolina? Shouldn't they send someone from Durham or Charlotte? Norfolk is actually closer, would you believe? Also, I would... Uh, how could I deny the, the Massachusetts State's Trooper and an inspector from Scotland Yard? Of course. So what are the details of this case? I think the best you let the local sheriff explain it to you. Now you'll be heading overnight and staying a few nights to solve the case. All this courtesy of Hawthorne Country County. This must be a sticky case, huh? It is. The local sheriff is quite famed lawman. And when he come and he puts in a request to the high commissioner, the commissioner insisted I give them someone good. We won't let you down, Captain. You two can go home and pack your bags and drive to Silver Creek Falls tonight. Local deputy will receive receive you in a local hotel and see that you're settled in. Meet of the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. We're on it, Captain. Sarah? Yeah. You mind driving us there? I still haven't gotten used to driving on the other side of the road. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. They have that they have to drive on the they have cars that are built with the um, driver on the other side of the car. Four hours later, Silver Creek Falls, Hawthorne County, North Carolina. All right. So this is supposed to be a very unique story. Pay attention to all the clues and information you find in every place you visit. Look at your inventory if you need to review things. The game is a mystery adventure. Details from investigations and the story are essential. Also, pay attention. Always pay attention. Alright. So yeah, right away, this game looks really interesting. The sprites I've never seen been used in an RPG Maker game. Um, of course, we have the save option. Okay. Right there. That's perfect. So yeah, uh, a few things. One one little gripe I heard about this game is that some of the cutscenes in this game... Oh, it's a pool. Find, find Deputy Hill in the hotel lobby. Uh, one gripe about this game that people have been saying is that the cutscenes, you can't skip them. So I don't know if they're animated cutscenes or not. I don't know. Deputy Hill... Yep, you two must be the extra muscle we requested from Norfolk. Pleased to meet you. Yes, we are. I'm Detective Sarah Fitzgerald, and this is Inspector Philip Moore. It's a pleasure, mate. <laughs> well, boy, am I glad you two are here. Some really strange things have been happening here. The captain hasn't told us anything either. What's going on? You folk have had a long drive over. I'm sure you'll be tired and want to get some good sleep. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Get some good sleep tonight as well you can. I promise... You, after you see the file, you won't be able to. I know, I sure as hell can't. Alright then. But I won't sleep because of anticipation. Oh well. I just can't, came to welcome you to Silver Creek Falls and to make sure you were fine. Just mosey on over to the uh, conjure over there. and She will give you your keys to your rooms. Shall I meet you in the lobby tomorrow morning? Let's say 8am. Perfect, then see you then, deputy. Alright. I'll take my keys. Thank you. 
It's the room most to the left. I think I'll have a drink <laughs> before I sleep. How about you? No thanks. I think I'll hut up. Sorry I made you drive all the way. I still haven't learned how to drive in the other side of the road yet. Okay, he's just okay, he's gonna get a drink. Let's explore a little bit. I think the socks are having a game tonight. Miss, do you have a remote to this TV? You normally leave just the news channel for guests, besides the TV doesn't have cable. That sucks. You have cable in your room though. As a game creator, as a fan of the Red Sox. Alright. I really want to learn what the weirdest... Hold on, can I explore these rooms? Nah, I can, you can kind of see inside them, but whatever. Very interested in seeing what's going to happen. Wait, this is our room, but we only have one bed. Day two. Alright, let's save on day two then. Is there anything of value? Didn't unpack, so naturally it's empty. Alright. Is he is my partner already missing? It's just me, okay, alright. Yeah, where is Philip? Oh, oh right outside. Deputy Philip, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Detective. I wanted to talk to you guys before we go out and look at the three crime scenes. We have crime scenes. We've had we've seen crime scenes before, so we know what we're doing. Not like this, I promise you. Maybe a small town deputy, but I can promise you that you've never seen anything like this. Bring it on. Where, where's the sheriff? Uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know. What? He put in a request for season. Wait, after he put in a request for season homicide and missing person detectives, he went missing. Does Captain Pendleton know about this? Nope. What the hell, man? Sir, please calm down. Deputy, let me guess. Uh, it wasn't the sheriff who put in the request, right? No, sir. It was you, right? Okay. Got a little explained to do, buddy. This kind of stung to get you suspended, you know. Sir, please, don't get angry. Uh, young man, explain yourself. With the sheriff gone, what choice did I have? It's only... I've only been on the force for three months. I thought this job was going to be easy. That's foolish. That's why I took the job in this dead-end town. Suddenly, people are going missing left and right and center. If you've seen these things... If you've seen the things I've seen, man... Okay. Probably need gonna need to just take care of this guy. Relax, kid. What's your name? Mike. It's all right, Mike. I know we aren't expecting to see things like this, but you're the sheriff now. You're in charge of this town. So I'd use the sheriff's name in the request... Well, you need... Because if I'd used mine, no one would have listened. Exactly, you need an actual, you know, you actually need the sheriff's name for this kind of stuff. Sheriff Lee Davis was the respected lawman. He even invited the high commission. He was even invited to the high commissioner's birthday. And now he's missing. Look, I need your help to solve this case. I don't know what I'm doing. I came last in my class. Wow. And they brought you to this dead end town. Only uh, Sheriff Davis was kind enough to take me. Have you been in this house since he disappeared? No. Oh my god, amateur. How long has he been gone? Two days. That's it. <laughs> she really takes her job seriously. Control yourself. God, I feel like I'm in The Departed. Well, Mary Poppins, here in America, we don't solve our problems with just a spoonful of sugar and a help <laughs> to help the medicine go down. Can I please... <laughs> Sir, please, uh, please take a walk. You can get some coffee or something. Just get some coffee, Sarah. With sugar. To help you sweeten the mood, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Okay. Give me coffee. Like a baby. I'm all pissed now, though. Alright, is that it, then? You guys done? Yeah, I'll fill you in later. All right, let's see the crime scenes. My, par's, my car is parked outside. Let's go. Here's the map to our town, in case you feel like walking around later. Okay. A and Z, okay. Let's do the scenes in chronological order. The first is in the house on Fisher Road, 
close to the end of Washington Avenue. Okay, there we go. That was weird. They went inside me, but then I didn't have to do it. Okay. Let's take this one. I'm trying to figure out what the cutscenes are. Maybe it's just these. Okay. What the? Oh, that's a plant. Like that green thing over there in that corner. Other holes in the ground. This looks like a slaughterhouse. I give it to you, deputy. This is one of the worst crime scenes I've ever seen. So what can you tell me about the people that lived here? This is the house of the sorority Phi Kappa Beta. It was quite a popular sorority in the local college. What kind of place name like that? Is a sor is, how is a sorority popular? I'll rephrase. It's a sorority where all the popular girls are. All the girls that lived here were doing modeling work. Oh, wow, starting to look like we have a motive. Have you checked for semen? No, we haven't done any forensics, uh, as we don't have that capability. There's no forced entry. It could be possibly that the sheriff thought it would, thought it unlikely. How many girls lived here? Four lived here and five disappeared. We tried to confirm this with blood samples, but we really don't have the tech for it here. Besides, it's all mixed. Fifth one disappeared too? Yeah, she was also a member of the sorority and didn't live in, but didn't live in it. Neighbors reported hearing loud singing and chanting on the night they disappeared. Oh. So, I guess maybe a Ouija board was? Uh, this is just speculation based on that. It freaked them out so that they called the sheriff and I to ask them to quiet down. When we got there, we found everything the way you see it now. They were chanting? Oh, God. The sheriff, sheriff and I took photos of some of the small and some small samples, and everything is more or less the way we found it three days ago. Understood, Deputy. We, we will take a look around and get some blood samples and search for evidence. Nothing. Weird. <laughs> Something went into the fridge. How many... I'm just taking a bunch of blood samples? I guess I have to go to every blood sample. That's what I'm assuming. Oh my... There it is! It's right there! What do they say about this? Oh my goodness. What is it? Is it a Ouija board? Stupid kids shouldn't mess with these things that they don't understand. I'm just gonna take it with me. Why not? Oh yeah, that's. I was hoping this game would kind of go that direction, but now I'm just like bullet holes. Oh man, they tried to shoot whatever they summoned. Any bullets inside? Some fragments. What the happened here? Interesting. This is getting really interesting. There's nothing on the floor. It's just ripped rug or whatever. Okay, let's save there. Is this hat weird on him? It kind of is. Just take all these blood samples. Probably shouldn't step in it, but... This place really reeks. It's not your typical corpse smell. There's a very strange smell. Smell. There's definitely some... Uh, a mana around. Not just a mana, a burnt hair smell. This place is really creepy. Hmm. Burnt hair smell? Okay, I'm just expecting just a weird body just hanging around, but doesn't look like that happened. Saw some hair. I wonder if they had a pet or something. Animal hairs. We're absolutely sure they're animal hairs, apparently. Sorority file. Okay, let's look at that in a second. Anything on the bed? No. Talk about semen samples. Alright, anyway. This is actually really cool. I can't look at the file. Alright. Excuse me if we keep saving, but I feel comfortable that way. Did I come in here? A lot of blood. Do I just... Okay, alright. I don't keep getting more blood samples from the same... Um, no. No. Book on witchcraft. How are these kids trying? Alright. Hope I don't miss a blood sample. That would be bad. Nothing on the bed? Just checking. Okay. 
What a clear-cut case, though. Unless these, the people I'm dealing with don't believe in the paranormal. Oh, they're not going to talk about what system that is? Alright. It's ain't Pokemon. It's a Nintendo Wii U. I knew it. We're almost there. Philip, you think these big assholes have something to do with this? Maybe this house seems pretty old. If someone or something made a hole that big, I don't want to meet them. <laughs> That's what they always say. How many blood samples do we have? We have 27. I bet we only need 30. To, like, advanced? I advance. Seems like that's it. Do we have enough? Alright, well, we explored everything, I think. This hole in the floor is enormous. I wonder what, if, if this was here before it all happened. This horrible smell. Oh, I didn't see this. It's a note of sorts. Huh? They laugh, they sing, they dance, but with who? There are six in this party, not five. Oh, that's really creepy. Can I leave the house yet? Okay, we collected all the evidence, because when I tried to exit before, it said I overlooked something. I don't remember seeing that there. I have to look back on the footage after editing and see if that was actually there. If I just walked right around it. All right, then we have we have a lot of samples. We can just look at this again. Interesting. What the? Where do we park? Oh the oh right. This is the other crime scene. Right. This creek is gorgeous. I'm surprised I've never heard of it before. It's probably because they changed its name recently. It used to be called New Adi Am Amaya. Sounds foreign. What language is that? Cherokee. Mm. Not this. <laughs> no. That's not good. These lands used to belong to the Cherokee tribe and they sold it off years ago. Oh, no. Oh, man. Indian burial grounds and, like, the, the rituals they do. Oh, no. This is bad. How much did he pay? Let me guess. He swapped Oliver for a few shiny beads and a mirror, right? Not quite. He paid them in 50 stallions and 130 rifles. He didn't buy all of their land, either. Just the land between the west of the creek and the mountain. A bit better, I guess. But still, that's a pretty sweet deal he got himself. They owned the rest till about 20 years ago, and then they brought out some of the venture capitalists. A famous North Carolina banking family, actually. What did they end up doing to it? Nothing at the end. They sent a crew of engineers over to look at the land as they wanted to build some high-end apartments there. Uh, they never got around to, f to building it. He just declared it a nature reserve about 10 years ago. Interesting story. Real quick. What the hell was that? What? Okay. Why'd you do that? Well, easy there, cowboy. What the hell was that for? Sorry for shooting without warning you two. I saw something stalking in the woods like a wolf or something. There haven't been woods in these parts for a while now. I wouldn't be so sure anyway. Let's. Anyway, bring us to the next scene. The hell was that? Yeah, if it was a wolf, where is it? I guess he's just gonna say they scared it off. That was a weird one. What's this thing? Trash can? Yeah. Okay, but yeah, this supposedly is a crime scene, so where oh here we go. Right? What can you tell us about this case, deputy? We got a call early in the morning after the incident at the sorority. Hunters found tons of blood, broken branches, holes in the ground, and a soil all messed up. The sheriff uh, and I took photos, but left the site alone. Thanks, Sarah. Shall we get back to work collecting evidence? 
Oh boy. There's another note too. That's a lot of shell casings. Whoever fired these had time to squeeze out a few, huh? Question is, what was the assailant? Was it the assailant or was it the victim? I'm trying to pay attention. I, I see the note this time. What's this right here? His hair is very soft and light. Not human. Looks like it might have come from a wolf or something. We haven't had wolves at all. What about bears? Nope. Do people camp here now that it has become a national park? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you have bears. I don't know. This one might have... Might be bears and maybe wolves. Hmm. Yeah, I still can't examine... Wait, what? I don't think that's supposed to be there. I'm about to heal myself with blood. More of these big holes. I wonder how deep they go. Do you smell that smell again? Yeah, it's a mix between... Uh, ammonia? Oh, ammonia. Yeah. No, it's not. No, nah, that's what it should be. And burn hair. It's awful. Sorry, is that, I've, I've said that word and heard that word many times, but I don't think I've ever actually seen the spelling of it. I do like the way this game is, though. I wonder how deep they go. Burnt hair again. Oh, he's, she says that for every single one. Alright, let's look at this. Another note. I guess this, this rules out a bear or wolf attack. Well, how about we read it, Sherlock? How do we know that the note belongs to the assailant? Same type of paper uh, as the note in Sorority House. Let's read it. He walked alone in the forest to become one with nature. He got his wish. Whoops. It's my phone. Um, okay then. I feel like that these uh, notes could hold a clue maybe to a future puzzle. Got his wish. Okay, so I guess that's it for this crime scene, because I don't see anything else. They'll tell me, though. Back to the car again. But yeah, that was weird. Just out of nowhere, he just starts shooting. Oh, wow. Looks like they were trying to get away, and they got... Ugh, they ran to a tree. By 11 o'clock, same day as we got the report in the park, we got a call from a nearby farmer that he saw a car crash. Where is the farm? A bit less than a mile south of here. A mile away. How did he see a, the crash? His house is on that hill. Okay. Sorry, kid. That farmer is telling you some tales. Pitch black night and close to a mile away from forest ground. Over forest ground? I'm sure he heard the crash. But no way in hell did he see it. Was he specific on details? No, he wasn't. Okay then, so what did you and the sheriff see here? Looked around to see if there was a body. We found none. We decided to call it a night. We were supposed to come back the next morning, but sheriff didn't report in that morning. Hmm. So you left the scene for two days. We put the cones, you know, and the barriers up, so nothing would get tampered. Yeah, but that doesn't stop people from just walking around it. Kid, the local wildlife are more likely to see these cones as a toilet than a barrier. This whole scene is contaminated. Sorry, I'm about to agree with her this time. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's look for some evidence. Uh, <laughs> right at her feet is some blood. Kind of just want to collect all the... All spots. But this is, seems like really small. Another note. Let's save that for last. No blood stains. No blood stains in any of the passenger seats. Okay, so just one person. But where is the body? Oh, wow. Any ID? Bunch of receipts on the floor. Let's get, uh, let's get this just in case the car plates don't match the missing person. You think this might be a stolen vehicle? They slammed it pretty hard into the tree, and the, it was through a straight... Through a straight, not even a turn. 
They might have been driving fast to get away from something. You guys really think that the three cases might not be related? While we do agree that three cases this gruesome on a span of 48 hours is highly unusual for a town like this one. We should still account for the possibility that all three, uh, all three are separate and is more coincidence than they happen so close to each other. Sheriff Davis seemed seem sure like all three were related. Pity Sheriff Davis isn't here. Uh, a bit of blood, most of it seems to be outside the vehicle. Okay, that's what she said. Okay, I just wanted to get that. So the, yeah, the crash didn't kill him, obviously. Something pulled him out and killed it and murdered him. What is this? More shell casings. All three scenes have casings. Looks like whoever is responsible for that fired at all of his victims. Who's responsible for fired at all? Okay, this is the south, and we're out of country. A lot of people carry guns around here. Good point. It's the one good thing you've said. Useful thing. A loosely sealed bottle of Morlot. There isn't much left. Not quite sure what that is. Is that supposed to be alcohol? Where is it? I don't see... Okay. It's not here. Weird. Okay. And that seems to be the last blood sample. Unless there's something over here. No. Another note. Why am I not surprised? Go on and read it. The young rush as if they lack time. But if you rush too much, you risk losing all of your time. The young rush as if they lack time. And if you rush too much, you risk losing all... Yeah, okay. I'm looking at them like they're riddles, but... Anything nearby? Probably not, but... Heh, we can actually go all the way out here. Like, yes, yeah, the crime scene happened, but you think somebody might have ditched the, the shotgun or ditched a gun or whatever? No? Okay. Alright, let's just get going. Hmm. So that's the three scenes, right? Yep. It isn't all piecing together. Did Lee Davis keep any of his case files, notes, or photos in his office? Most of the time. But last I saw, he, he wanted to take the stuff home to study it. I have his spare keys if you want to see what he left the files in his house. I think we can learn a lot if we get access to his case files and notes. Let's go.